Today, we're going to be talking about search results diversity, uh, which is a topic near and dear to my heart. Um, we have three talks that are going to cover this from a couple different angles for about 25 or 30 minutes. Then I'm going to lead a discussion on this. Um, for the most part, we sort of, um, I'm going to pitch the questions to the panel, but if you do have some additional questions, feel free to put those in the Haystack TV Slack channel. Uh, just really quickly, so this this topic I think is really interesting, and I'm just gonna I'll talk about it for a little bit. So I've been interested in, of course, search relevance for a long time, and having written relevant search and and been part of open source connections, it's been a big passion of mine to try to figure out ways that we can help users deliver sort of more accurate results that answer and support their information need. I feel like maybe at the beginning of the 2010s, a lot of people were putting together uh, maybe a solar application or Elasticsearch application, they'd ship it and only realize after they've shipped it that, hey, these search results are no good. And I think the awareness of that has really increased over the last decade, which has been really exciting. And as, as we continue to evolve and sort of improve our practice of search relevance, another problem or another challenge that you might argue counterbalances uh, the search relevance, or maybe it doesn't, starts to creep in. <laughs> For me personally, I, I started to see this uh, search result diversity problem when uh, in some of our earlier learning to rank projects, we started uh, doing learning to rank with Elasticsearch in 2016. And one of our first clients for, for doing this was a job search company. And what was really interesting about that experience is for some of the queries, we started doing extreme, like the results were arguably extremely relevant. Like we couldn't really make them any more close to what the user seemed to need uh, by their query, then then um, then uh, that then uh, we couldn't improve that anymore. But what we started to notice was when we look across the queries, there's just so much duplication, and so many things are really extremely similar. So if you search for something like a cook job, all you would get were the same ten Chipotle jobs in the top ten search results. When really, if you're searching for a cook, maybe you want to understand your entire options and what the menu, so to speak, of, of, this, of this query might be. Um, and this, this is a fairly interesting and challenging problem because a lot of our search engines, as we'll see, are like Solar and Elasticsearch, they're pretty heavily biased towards, okay, can you get the ranking and scoring function right? The question of can you give people a broad set of results that are also relevant, but kind of draw a wide enough net to show them a top many, maybe many different senses of the query or many different possible directions the user might go. That's still not really something baked into our search engines right now. So I think this is a pretty challenging topic. But I think increasingly a lot of teams are seeing that uh, it's not just enough to get the right results, but it's important to give people all the right possible options and interpretations of their intention as people uh, enter in search keywords. So with that sort of framing of the problem, uh, I'm going to introduce uh, our speakers one at a time and let them kick off, uh, kick off their talks. So first up, we have uh, we have Lev, and Lev is uh, Lev Gershenzon. For over 15 years, Lev has been working on it as a team lead and product owner of various projects in the field of natural language processing and search. He was the head of news aggregation of the news aggregation service and vertical search at Yandex. And after leaving the company six years ago, founded Detectum a SaaS provider of search recommendations and navigation solutions for e-commerce companies. Liv holds a master's degree in theoretical and applied linguistics for, of the Russian University for Humanities, Moscow. So Lev is going to talk to us about, uh, where is your talk title? He's gonna talk about how to deal, define, measure, and maintain search diversity in e-commerce. 